Tonight, a showbiz beauty battle. Now, you're looking at an ad for Jennifer Love Hewitt's new Lifetime show, The Client List. Great show. The two ads are almost the same. That is, except for one big change. You see, J Love's assets were actually digitally minimized. Was that a mistake? Well, apparently not. Welcome back to Showbiz Tonight. I'm AJ Hammer in New York. We'll have more on the cleavage cover-up in just a moment. But first tonight, Ashley Judd is lashing out. The actress is going after the media and everyone that accused her of having plastic surgery. Now, all this started when Judd was seen in photos and during some TV appearances with a fuller-looking face. That's when reports started flying around that Judd had gone under the knife. Judd says, no way that her fuller face was because she was sick and she was taking medications that caused the swelling, but she did not stop there. The actress also put everyone on notice for attacking her appearance. I want to read to you a bit of what she wrote in an open letter posted on the Daily Beast. She wrote, I choose to address it because the conversation was pointedly nasty, gendered, and misogynistic, and embodies what all girls and women in our culture, to a greater or lesser degree, endure every day in ways both outrageous and subtle. Is Ashley's rage justified? With me in New York, actress Alicia Minshew, well known for playing Kendall Hart on All My Children, joining me from Atlanta. There she is, my colleague, HLN anchor Rochelle Carey, also an advocate for women and girls. So the comments on Judd's fuller face range from talk of plastic surgery to comments on how she lost her looks. Some people saying her husband should look for a second wife. I mean, just ridiculous to me. But Alicia, you well know part of the territory when you are in the public eye or an actress is that you are going to constantly be judged for yes. your appearance. Wrong as that may be, that's the case. But do you think in this case that people who accused Ashley Judd of having plastic surgery because she looked different right. were way out of line here? Um, you know, I, I want to say just leave the girl alone, first of all. I yeah. mean, she's just so darn beautiful. Who cares what she had done? I, I think, I do think part of it does come with the territory. You know, you're an actor, you're putting yourself out there, so people can say whatever they want. It's up to you to just sort of have a thick skin and just say, you know what, I'm in this business, people are going to say what they want. For them to say that it's plastic surgery, yeah. uh, I think maybe they went a little too far. I mean, people get puffy faces, Well, and, and you I, know? And I think her, her bigger point was the fact that the fact that these things are being said, the fact that people say she's not as great looking as she was 12 years ago. It's just a bigger conversation about the, the enormous pressure that women, not just on TV, right. but all women right. seem to be under. But I do love how Ashley really puts the media and other women on notice for obsessing about physical beauty. Let me read yeah. some more of what she writes. This is great. Why was a puffy face cause for such a conversation in the first place? How and why did people participate? What is the condemnation about? Rochelle. You and I have been down this road before. What do you think? Is Ashley's anger justified, or do you think, you know, she should have just kind of let it go because mm. it does come with the territory? <laughs> no, I'm about to pop. She, <laughs> she nailed it. She is right. Why is the conversation, AJ, always about what women and girls look like first and then everything else secondary and I can tell you I in my imaginary world I am best friends with Ashley in real life I've actually had one conversation with her <laughs> um, and in that conversation she told me that she doesn't actually read for the right. most part what people say about her right so I know that for her to respond to this this is something that she was very moved about because she realizes that whether you're a celebrity or not women are always criticized for what they look like or what they don't look like and it's not it's not a, a mistake AJ that 90 percent of eating disorders are in young girls right. that's because they are affected by this talk about what women and girls look like well I give her a lot of credit for keeping the conversation going and and I've I've heard her say that many times and she talks about it in this piece on the Daily Beast how she never looks at stuff that's written about her but this was brought to her attention she had to address it there is another celebrity who has decided to respond to her critics Jessica Simpson, and I think she did a great job here. She sparked a frenzy of people talking smack about her weight gain during pregnancy. That's just ridiculous <laughs> to me in the first place. But just like the class act that Jessica is, she took to Twitter to poke fun at the controversy. Here's what she said. Last chance to see me fat, AKA pregnant on the cover of Elle. I love this shoot and it's only on stands for a few more days. Alicia, Jessica is just getting the last laugh, isn't she? I love her. I think she's brilliant. She's super smart. First of all, 
The woman's pregnant. Leave her alone. <laughs> Let her gain as much weight as she wants to. This is yes. her time to enjoy herself. Exactly. And and I think she has the last laugh. I really do. Good for She's her. She's saying, look at me. Yeah. You know? We have yes. got to go back now and take a look. I want to put this up for you side by side. An ad for Jennifer Love Hewitt's new Lifetime show. In one, you have Jennifer with her natural curves. The other, a retouch photo giving Jennifer a breast reduction. It appears Jennifer's natural look was just too much for some magazines. They decided to run the retouch version. Rochelle, in Hollywood, you know, we're used to hearing about retouched photos adding and enhancing. Mm -hmm. How surprising is it to you to see a photo actually reducing a woman's curves? And is that fair to J-Love? Well, um, clearly they were trying to sell the show based on her sexuality, clearly, right? Um, but having said that, let her look like what she looks like, you know? I mean, again, it's having to change to change a woman as opposed to just letting her be who she is. But at the same time, they were trying to sell a show based off of a woman's um, sexuality, yeah. which at times can be controversial. But she's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Just fascinating to me that they did that, though. Alicia Minshew, <laughs> Rochelle Carey, I thank you both. Thanks. Thank you.